Hi guys, this is Alex from Mesa Lifestyle. I hope everybody is doing well and I'm hoping that everybody is getting some beautiful um, warm weather. We were sure to here in the Midwest now for quite some time. I'm a little bit under the weather. Seasonal allergies are kicking my booty, but I wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm going to be sewing this month so you can call it my um, fabric and, uh, and sewing plans for the month of May. So let's go ahead and go to the design table so I can show you what I'm making. So I told you about this skirt. This is from, this is a bias cut spiral skirt from DP Studio. It's called Lay 4004. It is a digital download. It's actually not too bad to download. Um, it's got a couple of pages and I will be honest, the instructions are, I think they're one page as in sew this, sew this, do the same on the other side, stick some elastic over here. So definitely, definitely something for you to do if you have a little bit more experience. I would not suggest a bias cut skirt for somebody who is a beginner, even though this has an elasticated waist, just because anything that you cut on the bias is going to stretch on you and you have to make sure that you cut it on the bias exactly on the bias so it stretches so i knew i had told you about this pattern in my video that i had fallen down the indie patterns rabbit hole and i had been looking for fabric for this for quite some time um i had looked at fabric.com I had looked at I had looked at a bunch of places and then I remember Lindsay from Inside the Ham had posted that swatch videos with all of the fabrics from Style Makers and she had this fabric and I really wanted to see the drape, the sheerness, I wanted to see, right? Cuz I'm not and I have something to about ordering swatches and it has happened to me so many times. I order swatches and by the time I get them, thank you Chicago Mail, by the time I get them, I go to purchase and the fabric's long gone. It's happened to me like that now a couple of times with oak fabrics. They have the most beautiful fabrics, but they're not inexpensive. And when you get the swatches, yeah, they are nice fabrics. So I want to make sure that I'm investing something on what I want. But once I go to buy, of course, everybody else um, got smart and bought it. But I was able to get this from Style Makers. And sure enough, when I went to go buy it, they were sold out. Um... I had reached out and asked him if they had, if they were going to restock it, and they said we might, right? And I think as of as of yesterday that I checked, they had not restocked this. But I put a link to um, this fabric on Fabric.com. They have it. They have it in different colorways. It is a little bit um, see through, so I am going to have to for sure line this with some cotton boil or just something else so um and of course before i cut into that pretty pretty fabric i have to do a muslin and just kind of in a way let the skirt hang because there's so many bias um cuts right i just want to make sure that this is a linen as we all know linen stretches a little bit more um, than other fabrics. So I want to make sure that this is not completely distorted. So I have to try that. They, I asked for two yards. They said, Alex, we have two yards and three quarters. Do you want them? Heck yes. Because if this fabric doesn't work for this skirt, right? Once I do my muslin, I can always, um, I can always go ahead and make myself a button down shirt dress or just something else. So I said, go ahead, send me the entire amount that you have. So long story short, it's good sometimes to just reach out to the fabric store and say, hey, what you got? What you got in the back, right? Do you still have some of that nice fabric? And if the answer is yes, then you lucked out. I had mentioned to you guys that, um, that I was looking at tank tops and whatnot. 
and I had printed out all my stuff. So I'm going to make a couple of more of Max Tees from Chalk and Notch. I actually saw a picture from Banana Republic and I will put it up on the side. I had seen this, this shirt a while back and I had taken a picture of it. It's gray. I would never wear gray, guys. I think that's such a tough color to pull through and not look like you're sick or depressed. Anyhow, I saw it in gray. It looks beautiful in the model, but I love the V-neckline and I love the, love the lines on the sleeves. So I said, all right, I'm going to make myself one, but I'm going to do a V-neck on that. And then a couple of um, Bluma tanks, which I told you last week about. And you can make either of those patterns with one yard of fabric. I think I did three quarters of a yard of fabric. You can make either one of those two patterns with a yard of fabric and I have plenty of remnants around here for knits, rib knits, and guess what? They're gonna be used. Do you guys remember that Tilly on the buttons dress with the French terry? With, it was beautiful fabric, but the pattern was a total and complete fail. Guess what? It will be remade. So I'm making a few of those. I'm probably gonna make myself a few more. I have to find out and see what else I have. For remnants, I know that I had also made a dress for a Butterick, um, for a Butterick pattern. It was a fall pattern and I had done a sew along for it. But um, that's going to be getting cut up too. And it's going to go into a t-shirt or a tank or a max tee. But we're gonna we're gonna work it out and reuse and repurpose what I have that perhaps I'm not using. Talking about repurpose and reuse, I found this stretch twill, right? Awesome stuff. I have I have a yard. Woohoo! So I downloaded the Lander pants from True Bias. I showed you guys my Danny shorts. Man, I love those things. If you guys are thinking of shorts and that simplicity pattern that I told you about does not fit in the hip, True Bias is it. So I downloaded the Lander Pants. I talked to Kelly over there and she said, I said, well, I'm not so sure that the waistband's gonna fit. But she said the side seams have an inch of seam allowance. So guess what? They are going to fit on their largest size range. She said she is working on a couple of other patterns that she wants to extend the sizing. And then she's going to get to the lander pants. And I certainly hope she does. Um, we need more uh, extended sizing for pants. Um, I feel like a simplicity kind of failed with those shorts. I'm still a little bitter about that, but I'll get over it. But I'm going to make myself some shorts because there's never enough of those, especially in the summertime. And then I am going to be working on this pattern from um, from Vogue. This is Vogue 1859. It's advanced. Is it advanced? No, it's average. Um, average it does have it does have hong kong seams and definitely i will have to make a muslin out of this i was trying to find this fabric from rachel comey but i suspect i'm gonna have to wait another season for that um but i was able to find this 100 percent cotton um herringbone chambray and i found it at fabric.com i also saw that Oak Fabrics has this same fabric and blue. Beautiful. But definitely I wanted something a little different than blue because as you guys can see, I'm sewing a couple of things in blue. So I got to break the vicious cycle of the blue. So I'm going to be using this fabric and I linked everything on the website so you guys can go get it. And the fabric calls for a little bit of lining in a couple of places and the plackets and it calls for broadcloth, which I don't think so. If I'm doing Hong Kong seams, I am going to go all out and make sure that this is nice and not scratchy. So I got this Rayon Shally from um, Vogue Fabrics. I got some other things from them, but 
I have to pair a pattern with that. So we'll wait on that just a little bit. So this is it. Again, I'm trying not to, trying not to chew, I'm trying not to bite more than I can chew, right? Again, I'm not feeling well. Seasonal allergies are killing me. It's usually hit my daughter, my son, and I pretty hard. And I'm also doing pattern testing. I always kill myself because I say, you know what? I'm not going to do that pattern testing anymore. But then they send me the pattern and I'm like, oh, heck yes. Yes, I will be pattern testing that. So, so what are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys later next, this week. I know that Chalk and Notch is releasing a new pattern, which I was lucky enough to test. And it's a good one. So I will give you a review of that pattern um, later on this week. I will see you later on. Bye.